This is Greg Troutwine with Offshore Engineer TV. We're here at Offshore Europe 2019, and we're very pleased to be joined by Richard Morley of ProServe. And Richard, first and foremost, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much, and uh, delighted to be interviewed by the Offshore Engineer. Excellent. So Richard, just to kick it off, uh, what is your title and what's your area of okay. responsibility? Okay, so I'm Senior uh, Director for Sales and Strategic Accounts um, for ProServe Control Systems. Okay, so Richard, I'm sure many of people watching this know the ProServe name, but for those who perhaps don't, can you just give me a brief synopsis of the company and your offering? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So ProServe is a controls-based company, so we provide controls both surface and subsea that basically control the um, production of hydrocarbons. So you, um, you have a subsea tree on the seabed, but it's predominantly a mechanical system. What you need to, for that is um, an electronics and control system to enable you to do that remotely. So we provide that remote link. Okay, so is there anything specific that you're talking about here in Aberdeen? So yeah, we were delighted to be invited by the Department of uh, International Trade, uh, which uh, <laughs> is in their, in, their, in their trailer, to talk about um, obsolescence of subsea control systems and how we can, as a company, help uh, companies is extend life of field. So, for instance, there's circa 6,000 subsea wells currently in uh, production. But over, after about five years, these become obsolete, and at that point, the original manufacturers no longer support them. Mm -hmm. And then the, the customer's in the position of, of he's got a, a field that's still producing for another 15 years, but got no support. So, mm -hmm. so what do they do? If they want to extend the well, if they want to increase production, or they've got poor reliability, they need someone to fill that gap for them, and that's where ProServe comes in. Through our technology and our way we developed um, our, our systems, that enables us to coexist with the existing systems, live alongside them, and upgrade other control systems manufactured by other uh, original manufacturers. Okay. So, Richard, obviously the industry has been going through some trying times of late. Uh, the mantra today is uh, cost savings uh, uh, and, ex as you say, extending the life of field. So, how exactly is ProServe helping in this regard? So, as I say, it's in two, in two focuses. Obviously, it's cost saving and obviously environmental issues. Because, obviously, if, you, if you're manufacturing new systems and put new systems, there's an environmental envelope there that they're producing. But if you continue to produce from existing infrastructures that are already in there, there's less of an environmental impact because you, you're creating uh, systems that live longer, so they produce less, so there's less end of life issues to get deliver of them and plus they're also producing hydrocarbons for a longer period so it's good if, good for the customers uh, cost savings wise is the cost of replacing the new systems multi-million dollars mm -hmm. and often on the fields when they're becoming the end of life there, there just isn't economics to do that so what we're providing is a, a solution where we can extend the life of a field for another 5 10 15 years for a fraction of the cost of replacing so it, it becomes an economic um, no-brainer that if you have a field that's producing well but you need to enhance it as as the fields um, deplete and the uh, geology changes you need to do certain things with them and the existing systems can't manage that so you need to do something to them but the cost of replacing is is is, is negates any any work so pros have come in and say hey we can make your system faster better uh, we can increase reliability we can ensure that you're not pulling a control mode average control modules pulled every 17 months okay business data yeah. our data for our systems is 45 years okay it, in in the last 25 years we, we've manufactured control systems 93 percent of the systems we've put in have never been re retrieved wow so 20, we've got systems out there that we've been working for 25 years with absolutely no support but when i say no support it, they haven't needed support we've been there to support them <laughs> but they've excellent, not needed it. Excellent clarification. Good. So, in conclusion, you've been very gracious with your time. Um, how do you find the offshore in uh, Europe and Aberdeen this year? I think it's actually brilliant. The new um, exhibition hall really makes a difference and uh, they've had a really good turnout after such a poor three or four years of, of, of decline in industry within oil and gas. It really looks like it's turning a corner and, and we've certainly known the increase in business and it's certainly set for, you know, for a really good year and following years i hope excellent well richard Perfect. again thank you very much for your time thank you very much this is greg troutwine with offshore engineer tv